Hey guys, welcome to the video number 292. My name is Ajay and uh, I'm going to talk about today uh, what is the difference between uh, two functions which uh, belongs to the same family, lookup family and as you can see on the screen, one is the index and the second one is the VLOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP is very known function. Uh, people who use uh, Excel, you know, as a, I mean, who just work on the Excel for their uh, basic things, for their basic, you know, day-to-day -day, uh, work routine, even they know the VLOOKUP function, right? But many of us are not aware of the index function. And that is the reason we always are, you know, very keen to use the VLOOKUP. We don't even want to look at the other, you know, the functions which does the same job and with much more efficiency actually right yes index actually has an edge over the vlookup guys and uh, you like it or not but this is the fact if you if somebody knows index and uh, you know if he doesn't know the vlookup function that's fine but knowing the vlookup and not knowing the index i think if you're somebody who is working on excel a lot who is in the mis field who is a business analyst you know who works on the excel all the time then it's a time to learn the index function so we are going to start this video number 292 and i'm going to talk about the difference between these two functions so i assume you know these functions index and the match on the individual level if you don't have any idea no problem as you know my channel is dedicated uh, to you know all those people who want want to learn the excel excel vba access and access vba just quickly go to this excel index uh, you know click on this playlist and you would find the videos on the index you can watch the index videos from the beginning if you don't have any idea about the vlookup guys then again you can find it out here the playlist called excel vlookup and match and we have a lot of basic videos on the vlookup also including the advanced intermediate level of you know the videos also so we have everything right so now I want to tell you the difference between the VLOOKUP and the index. I will be very quick in this. We will make this a very short video. And also for the fact I am again repeating, I assume that you guys know the VLOOKUP and the index. And if you don't, just don't watch this video. First go to all those, the you know, the videos which I have just said. First watch them and then come back. It will make a lot of sense, right? So let me start with this now uh, if you if you want to i have prepared the data as you can see we have the id we have the uh, one more thing i'm going to write here let's say day now guys uh, when you use the vlookup function you see in this uh, case you will have a problem in the vlookup because i have explained this in many other videos also uh, when i talk about you know the vlookup the basic vlookup how you use it vlookup always looks up the value whatever the value you are looking up from your from your you know table in the primary table which is this table where you have all the headers have all the information you cannot start your table from here that's the first point right because in the lookup the lookup is g12 which is the id g12 is actually the id so vlookup has a rule that it has to start from the left so this has to be the first column now if this is going to be the first column you cannot go in this direction because if you go in the reverse direction then id header becomes the second column of this table because this is going to be your selection so definitely the, you don't have any option in this case what you will have to do is you will have to cut or copy this data okay and you got to move it here to the right side this is the only option because VLOOKUP actually guys works left to right. So you will use the VLOOKUP here again and now this time I look up the value, I select my table, I make it the first column which is the leftmost column and I go like this. And then you select the column number which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Exact match 0, right? This is how we write the function. Now uh, there are a couple of things I want to discuss with you very frankly. Now, I don't have any problem with the VLOOKUP, right? After all, it's an Excel and, you know, if you know me through my channel, you know, we have obviously got <laughs> so many videos on Excel. So, I'm uh, actually, you know, I, I really, this is the one of the greatest uh, uh, invention, you know, by the Microsoft. This is really very powerful. Excel is used everywhere, right? If you're on the, if you're somebody who just uses it for the basic purpose, if you are doing it for the analysis purpose, I mean, whatsoever, whatsoever be the reason, Excel is used in every industry. So, you know, uh, VLOOKUP is also a function which everybody knows. But the point is, when you have something really very good, when, when, when you have something really unique, you know, then I think 
the focus should be more towards using those functions which can make you which can give you a very you know i would say um, the freedom the flexibility uh, when you work on the excel now for example wh what i'm saying is now you have to move this day column from this side to the this side because you know the lookup has to be this so that it always works left to right the vlookup function now this is a very small table it doesn't really make any sense i can do it 100 times right but the point is uh, in the real environment where you have million rows and you have uh, 50 60 columns which are moving left to right right like in this i have only three four columns how many columns do we have one two three four five right so if you have 20 columns 25 columns 40 columns then in that case you know if if you have this kind of a problem uh, you have many headers before this id which is your lookup i have only one header but maybe you can have other headers as well then moving all the headers to the right side it i think not a good step because uh, if you are if your table is uh, having one million two million rows trust me your size unnecessarily you are copying 2 million 1 million cells more just for the fact that you want to work on the vlookup your you know file size will increase and at the same time guys it's not about you know only the size but also if you do the calculations then the calculation will also impact right the calculation will also be very slow so we have to take care of all these things right a, a good uh, a good excel person always takes care of these things output is not really the matter all the time you also need to see the other aspects also you need you need to see you know that if you send this file to somebody and he they they're gonna open the file trust me the file also takes a lot of time if the file is really very big so we can save all that so we can save it using the index function now in the index function the good thing is that you really don't have to worry about the from where to start and where to end the only thing which you need to take care is the header which you are trying to find it out against the id like in this case if i talk specifically about this example then the only thing which you need to take care is you got to cover the header in your table that's it now for example if i just delete this okay and uh, i just uh, delete this as well now when you write the index function i have already explained this function from the very basic level you know if you're a beginner please go ahead and watch that playlist excel index right because in this video i'm not gonna talk about the basic part now in this we have an array which is a table right now the table can start from anywhere it's not there is no rule like in the vlookup we have unlike in the vlookup that you got to select the first the lookup value and then move you know left to right in the index you can select the table from here also it's fine right you can also uh, keep your table like this again there will be no problem but the problem would come with the when you drag this left to right because when you drag the formula left to right you will have the status and in your table if the status header would not come you will have the error so at least you should cover these two headers id uh, day id and status right uh, payment mode date you don't really require but in any point in time if somebody comes here and change this day to payment mode let's say and the status to date then obviously the table has to be like this or you can start the table from here also it's all up to you now for example if i select the table like this right now what is the next parameter guys row number right so we need to see the row number of this id so what is the row number in this table of this id it's one two and three perfect then you press comma and then you write here the column number now what is the column number the column number of again this id so this is the first column this is the second column this is the third column right and this is the fourth column this is the fifth column and this is the sixth column so we have the columns like this right so in this table if i'm on the row number three the column of the day is going to be two one and two so you write the two that's it so you if you see index actually generally uh entirely depends upon the row number and the column number nowhere it is actually trying to look up the thing right it looks up the things uh through the row number and the column number that's the reason so if you press enter you see you you can actually work on this index function so index is a function which can work from any direction now i have just started the table you know from here but it's not i mean why would you select it from the blank column right why would you select it from the a doesn't make any sense well that was just an example right now you can also do one thing why don't you go ahead and you know you can also do this you can select this table as well that's it because you need the day 
right now i'm not focusing on the status right let's say if you just want the day then you can select this table and in this table you can tell that what is the row number row number would be what row number now you need the you know the day for this id so this id has to be we have to see the row number of this which is again three and the column number is one you press enter and you know you have the answer right but actually you can't you will not select the one table because you have to move it to the left to right also so in that way i think this would be the best combination you can select this table or maybe this table and then go for the row number of this id which is going to be three uh, and uh, the column has to be one right press enter and similarly for the status the row number would again remain same which is three comma the column number would, would change to three three comma three right you can obviously use the match function uh, because every time you can't go and you know change the column numbers manually in the cells this is what i have already explained in my vlookup using the match uh, video and index with the match video you can go, uh, if you have watched those videos you know you know what i'm talking about so but i wanted to tell you that index is you see that it's actually very powerful you really not need not to move the data from the you know one direction to the another direction direction uh, for the simple reason that you're using the vlookup right you can use the vlookup but i i think uh, if you have a big database if you have a lot of columns and uh, your columns always keeps on changing uh, sometimes they come to the right side of the lookup sometimes they come you know to the maybe uh, left side of the lookup then i would prefer that you know you should use the index and to find out the row number and the column number you can use the match function so this is the basic the difference between the index and the your vlookup function vlookup has a direction problem it has to be always left to right and the left the first column has to be the lookup column right so if i select the vlookup i will have to select the table from here like this but in the index you really don't have to be so rigid about the selection part right so that's it and uh, guys uh, i request you to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions just leave your comment leave your questions uh, right below this video and i will definitely come back to you thank you so much for watching